video, we'll be demonstrating how to pay for college. Uh, in our personal finance game, we have gone into the future and you have completed your degree and now you have are looking for a job and now you need to start paying back your student loans. In this document, you just need to record information about your school, name, degree, application, all this. And then fees and tuitions is what we're really going to focus on when it comes to repaying back your college debt. Now, all you need to do to find this information is to go to the college website that you plan on attending, and they usually have an admissions um, page or something about tuition fees or refinance or financing opportunities, something like that that indicates something about money. Then from there, they should have the activity fee, room and board, meal plan, all of this stuff in there. If you can't find a room or if you can't find an activity fee, meal plan, parking permit, those aren't really the big ones. But room and board is a must. Uh, the total amount per semester, those are things we need to figure out. So after you fill out this information that you have found, now you're ready to move on to the next part. So let me just explain some of these numbers real quick to make sure we're on the same page here. Parking permit fee. That would be if you plan on having a car in college. If you don't, well, you can just leave a blank. All right, so total amount per semester without room and board. So what the amount we would get that is just, we'd be adding up all these columns except the room and board. Total amount per semester with room and board is adding up all of these, the total here. All you really need to do is add up the total here plus the room and board, and we get this 11500 then after four years, how much would you owe? Well, for this one without room and board, we would only owe $59,200. With this one, if we lived on campus the entire time, it would be $92,000. The way we got that amount is simply by going, we're going to take the $7,400, multiply it by eight, because eight semesters in a bachelor's degree, we'd have 59,200 and then the other one with room and board for four years would be times eight for eight semesters would be 92,000. Now that we have these totals we are now ready to go over to our financial calculator to calculate what would be our amount that we would have to pay back per month. So for here our loan balance it's going to be $92,000 Interest rate we provide for you, it's 4.29%. That's based on the current uh, federal student loans that are out there. Loan terms, we're just going to say 30. Uh, we could decide to do a 10 or 20 year loan term repayment plan, but uh, the shorter amount of the years, the more you have to pay per month. Now that's, that's key in doing this because you don't want to be paying off your college student loans for 30 years. But for this, we're probably just going to stick with 30 just because um, we don't know your salary yet. Minimum payment will leave blank. Enrollment status will put in repayment. Degree program, bachelor's, total years, and college four. So we have our information that we need. We can now go to the other link that's provided on Classroom. And then we can calculate what this would be. So we would put 92000 in here. Our interest rate, 4.29. Loan fee, zero. Loan term is 30, minimum payment zero, enrollment status in repayment. What that means is that you have finished your college degree and now you're ready to start paying back your loans. The degree you got was bachelor's. Total years in college is four. So when you hit calculate on this information here, it's going to provide everything that we need. So what do we need to find? Well, we need to know what is the monthly loan payment that you have to pay. 454 is the amount that it gives us here, monthly loan payment. Cumulative payments, that's right here. Total interest paid, that is also right here. So I'll write those down in these columns. Minimum annual salary. Now this is important because it gives you an idea what is the minimal amount you would need in order to pay back this 454 per month. So in this paragraph, it is estimated that you'll need an annual salary of at least 54 dollars 68 80 We would take that and put that amount in here. 
What percent of your gross monthly income will be devoted to repayment? If we just continue to read, the estimated assumes that 10% of your gross will be devoted to repaying your student loans. That's all you need to know for this section here. And then the last question, what is the minimum salary? Again, that would be the same as this one, this 54568 In your monthly expense report that we've already gone over is your monthly loan payment. This amount here is what you will put into your monthly expense report. It's going to be different as from anyone else in the class because this is your college debt. So write this amount down into your monthly expense report and then you'll be ready to start writing checks when your college payment is due. If there's any more questions about this, please let me know.